Hi there, it's Muzaffar again. In the round the end type hydraulic flow plate design questions, you are expected to find out the volume of the tank, which is the, double, the V, and also the W, or the width of the tank, the length of the tank, which is represented by L, and also the depth of the tank, which is represented by D. The way I tackle these kind of questions, firstly, I will label the distance between buffer for this tank, like that. And after that, I will divide this huge tank into small pieces of channels, like this. Okay, we can straight away see that the volume of all these small channels, if you total up all these volumes, okay, it will definitely be equal to the volume of the tank. Okay, this drawing also can be drawn this way. Small number of channels, okay. So if you look at the, the width of the channels, they are equivalent to the dBB, and the depth of the channels is equal to the depth of the tank, okay, and that's why it's there. So if you total all these small channels, eventually we, we will be producing a diagram of a long cuboid. Okay, the width will be the same as the small number of channel, which is dBB, the distance between buffer, and the depth also is equal to is equal to the depth of the channel, which is also equivalent to the depth of the tank. Okay, and the length of this volume of tank is equivalent to J and J representing the total distance traveled by water in the flocculator. Okay, basically what I'm trying to say is the volume of this long cuboid is the same as the volume of the flocculation tank. So at this moment, I would like to stop my small lecture here before we continue with continue with the next part of lecture in order to find out to, to find out the width, the length, and also the depth of the hydraulic flocculation tank. Thank you from Muzaffar and Assalamualaikum.